In San Marcos Unified School District, we believe all students are capable of achieving at high levels. This is our SMUSD collective efficacy approach. Hello and welcome, I am Tina Hernandez and I have the pleasure of serving as the English Learner Coordinator at Mission Hills High School. Here is some information to help your students succeed. The highest goal for an English learner is to reach reclassification and become reclassified as English fluent proficient. The San Marcos Unified School District has four reclassification criteria, kindergarten through 12th grade. And the first one is the summative LPAC. It's also known as the English Learner Proficiency Assessment for California. It is given once a year during spring, and this test is a state uh, measure. Moderately developed to well-developed English proficiency within the bridging range in all areas is required for reclassification. This specifically refers to the overall score in the oral and in the written domains of the LPAC. The oral domain refers to listening and speaking, and the written domain refers to reading and writing. Cut scores needed for reclassification depends on the grade level. The second reclassification criteria is the star lexile test. This is also a standardized measure, and it represents a student's reading ability. There are, a set, uh, there are set scores a student must reach in order to meet this reclassification criteria as well, and it is according to grade level. The third criteria is the district's measure of, in English language art, of approaching proficiency or being proficient and there is a rubric score of uh, 16 out of 20 on the teacher uh, observation reclassification form. The fourth and last reclassification criteria is parent consultation. Once a student through kindergarten and 12th grade meets these four criteria, the student will be reclassified as English fluent proficient and will no longer be receiving English learner services. However, reclassified students are monitored for four years to ensure that they are successful in their classes and to receive support if needed. In our district, English language development happens throughout the school day. This instruction is also known as ELD, and there are two types of ELD. The first type of ELD is integrated ELD, and it's provided to English learners throughout the school day and across all content areas. Here the California ELD standards are used in tandem with the California Common Core State Standards for ELA and other content areas. The focal point in integrated ELD is on the content standards, and the ELD standards are used with the content standards to ensure our ELs have access to content, knowledge, and also develop academic language across all disciplines. The second type of ELD is designated ELD. Designated ELD is a protected time during the regular school day where teachers use the California English language standards to develop English language proficiency with the students. Designated ELD instruction is designed to support ELs in developing the English language knowledge and abilities needed to be successful in content instruction in classes such as geometry, chemistry, history, electives, and so forth. Importantly, Designated ELD builds into and from content instruction to develop the critical language English learners need for content learning in English. In high school classrooms in SMUSD, we have an adopted curriculum for designated ELD, and it is called Collections. At Mission Hills High School, emerging English learner students are enrolled in ELD1 or ELD2 with an additional reading class. Emerging students are in need of substantial linguistic support and besides the adopted collections curriculum, we also use Rosetta Stone with our ELD1 students and Lexia Power Up with our ELD2 students. A student in ELD1 or 2 also takes grade level math, science, history classes with teachers who use instructional and linguistic scaffolds to provide access to both content and to engage and participate with the language. ELD 1 and 2 students are also enrolled in PE and or elective classes. An expanding or bridging student at Mission Hills High School is enrolled in either ELD 3 or 4. He or she is also enrolled in grade level English language arts, math, science, history, and PE, as well as elective classes. Students at the expanding level are in, the need, are in need of moderate level of linguistic support, and students at the bridging proficiency level are in need of light support. As mentioned at the beginning of this segment, the summative LPAC is used as one of our St. Marcus Unified School District reclassification criteria. We also use the summative LPAC to inform us and to assist us with correct student placement. 
and we use it to measure the growth of our EL students' English proficiency. We discuss the results with the students via data talks and the students create short as well as long-term goals to increase their language proficiency. There is a second type of LPAC. It's called the initial LPAC. And it is used to identify students as either an English learner or fluent in English. And it's only administered once during the student's time in the California public school system. Both the initial and the summative LPAC is a part of California's department's education assessment system. Research shows there is a correlation between standardized test scores, such as the LPAC, and reading for pleasure. If a student reads 20 minutes at home for pleasure every day, the student will, will read a total of 3,600 minutes a school year and be exposed to over 1.8 million words per year. This will result in a score on standardized test in the 19th percentile, which will be tests such as the LPAC and the Starlink style reading test. Compare this to a student who reads for five minutes a day for pleasure. This student will be exposed to only 282,000 words a year and will score in the 50th percentile on standardized test. This relationship between reading for pleasure and doing well on standardized test is evident and really important because it shows us that when a student reads daily for 20 minutes, the student will be exposed to many words throughout the year and as a result, he or she will score higher on standardized test. This can ultimately help the student become reclassified as fluent English proficient. The key to create a culture of reading is for our students to read something of interest. If they read something of interest to them, reading becomes an activity the student would want to do and a habit um, that happens every day. Please encourage your students to use the library at school or the local library to find books or novels, non-fictions or online articles with topics interesting to them. A library card is free. Other ways uh, you can support your student at home is by encouraging him or her to use her first language through reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Don't hesitate to use your native tongue at home. It is an asset to be a bilingual, and therefore encouraging your student to use his or her first language skills with you at home is important. Doing this is also a great way to honor your family's culture and the culture of your student's first language. Also, encourage your student to take classes at school in their first language, to become proficient in reading, writing, listening, and speaking in their first language. If they already are proficient in all four domains, encourage them to learn a third language. The future is multilingual. Talk to your student about his or her life at school. Ask him to explain to you what he's doing at school, what she's doing at school. For example, if your student is working at a, oh, it's okay. Ask him or her to share and explain to you work she's doing at school. For example, if your student is working on a project in biology about ecosystems, have him or her show you the project. This will offer you both an opportunity to connect about school and you'll be able to ask your student questions and your student will be able to show off his or her work with you. Doing breaks such as winter break and summer break, encourage your student to read every day for pleasure and encourage them to write or to use a daily journal where they can practice their writing skill. This will keep their writing skills and reading skills strong through time off from school. A great way to become familiar with the LPAC test we spoke about earlier in this segment is to go to www.elpac.org. Here your students can access LPAC practice tests. Also, if you are able to participate in ELAC meetings and events like back to school night or shadow a grizzly if possible, staying connected with your student's school will allow you to be informed and keep up with your student's academic, linguistic, and social process at school. Knowing what goes on at school will help you, oh, cut. <laughs> Knowing what goes on at school will help give you a better idea of how you can support your student at home. Most important, Please encourage your student to read for pleasure every day for 20 minutes to increase their vocabulary and language proficiency. Something we want our multilingual families to know is that we are here to support your student and you as a family. When we work together as a team, school and home, we are able to support your students to be both academically as well as linguistically successful in high school and beyond. Thank you for watching.